Hello everyone, I am Cornelius and this is my geekdom and I apologize um, for the last video being in a... Uh, being not in widescreen. Um, that is my bad, but that was just a character creation so I figure I don't have to redo it like the next couple of videos. Um, anyways, we will. I, I'm going to be playing, replaying the first like 40 minutes of this game, trying to uh, play it with with a widescreen so you guys aren't turned off by that. And um, also, so um, I guess I should go over what I went over in my original video. Um, I am playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines as a uh, Tojeron and I'm going to be doing a very nice person, like I'm going to be very kind. Um, I don't have an established backstory, but I'm just going to go with my character being a uh, artist who was never really famous and then he died and became a vampire. Um, just because I think it's simple, cool, fits the fits the class and it fits my character, uh, kind of. You, it's not going to actually like rule the character, so you don't really have to pay attention to that if you don't care, if you don't want to, um, but I just figured I might as well do it. Anyways, um, I also have some visual mods installed that make the game look amazing, um, but anyways, let's get going. Oh shit! Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have 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 come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as, up to tonight, I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more a judicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! <laughs> Thank you. 
If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Okay, so I already know the controls, so... <laughs> what a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? Excuse me, who are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll train life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You, 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 you wait her out. I don't have much time. Could you just give me the basics? Youngsters these days. Well, your funeral, kiddo. But keep a couple things in mind before you go. Now, these lessons aren't just for your benefit, so listen up. I'm listening. First, the masquerade. You hear a lot about this, so let me sum up real quick. Sure, you're a vampire. Great. Keep it to yourself, okay? It's easier that way, trust me. That's the masquerade. Keeping vampire secrets secret. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Now, if you violate the masquerade, if you run around spooking humans, you make things harder on all of us. Then all of us get pissed off and we come after you. And you end up like your sire there, stick to bait. You it, kiddo? Yeah, I'm listening. Right on. Next, humanity. Being a vampire isn't the end of the road. You think life is hard? Just wait. Now you're half beast, half man, and it ain't quite an easy fit. You're gonna be fighting that beast for the rest of your days every time you get into it. Whenever you kill an innocent, you feed the beast a little more, and it grows a little stronger. After a while, the beast can take over, and you'll go wild and have to be put down like a rabid dog. So, you know, fight it. Don't be a homicidal maniac. That'll help with the masquerade, too. See how it all comes together? Ain't that nice? Yeah, real nice. Now, with all that said, you still have to keep your ass alive. For that, you're gonna have to feed. That's a little blood sound, kiddo. I imagine you're feeling that thirst right about now, huh? Get it where you can, however you can. Just remember the first two lessons. Don't let anyone else see you feeding. They'll flip out and cause you to break the masquerade and cause some bigger, badder vampire to come stomp a mud hole in your ass. Also, drink deep, but don't drain them dry. See, that's giving in to the beast. If you do that, you lose your grip on your humanity and you lose control. There we go again. All pissed together. Yeah, I uh think so. 
righteous. Now, ship off like a good little soldier. If you pull this off, come downtown to the last round, and I'll tell you how jacked this whole situation is. But until then, <laughs> good luck. Or maybe I should just say, uh, nice knowing you, kiddo. <laughs> Piss off. for your computer is a surprise. Keep the cash in the drawer. It's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. Mercurio. What the hell's Mercurio? At your convenience, please come to the... Please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave this to you as a guide. Dark blood, our curse. A light, this verse. Power, I sense in one so young. First, me, where, sorry, I can't hear, I can't see it for some reason. Find me where burns the mystic sun. Amstraz, Chimera Regent. So that's the leader of my clan. Okay, that's it. The password is sunrise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Monica. Waste no time meeting with him. Penis enlargement. Watch the series come... Yeah, no. Looking for that lazy-ass ex-husband who's late on his al alimony payments? How about that? Yeah, screw it. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over and place to my place once you get situated. You need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up the explosives right now. Some astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street in number 4, walk to the end of the alley, and my building is next one on the, is the next one on the right. 5. Game begins. The pawn is moved. What the hell is that about? Ah, screw it. Whatever. Probably just some prank. Carnival of Death. Remains found at the... Oh shit.
You got you got some change, mister? Yeah, but I'm sorry, man. I don't have any for you. Asshole! Oh, fuck you. <sighs> Indeed. I don't want to, but I have to. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Get um, you just saw. Okay. We need to go to Mercurios. First door on the right. Is that a bloody man in Mercurios house? He looks wounded. Oh shit, I gotta get I gotta get over there. What? No. I got a record back east. I'm heat day. Don't touch that phone. No goddamn cops. Are you Mercurio? What happened to you? I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. It's a broken bottle. Now, now just tell me what happened to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those... Cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. What? Vamp blood? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. So, where do I find the astrolite now? Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. So, you're telling me I have to get this myself? Just fucking fantastic. You gotta. You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Okay, is there anything I can do to help you? You're... You're fucked up, man. Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Alright, I'll bring something back for you. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Alright, good to know. All right, now I've got to go to the hospital. I need to help a guy out. Need something, pal? Okay, I'm just looking for someone. Oh man, wait! Say that again! No, I think I should get going now. 
dare you go? Oh, what? <laughs> you're a vampire, aren't you? Dude, I don't know what you're smoking, but <laughs> can I have some? Oh, come on! Oh man, you are too. Dump, 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 man. <laughs> Just come clean, you know. I mean, oh man, I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just wanna talk. All right then, let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh man, I knew it. I just, oh jeez, I knew you were. I just could tell. I, oh man, this is great. And I saw your teeth, and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man. So, what are you, a vampire? You don't look like one. I don't see how else you can know all this. I'm a ghoul! I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, oh, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind. A ghoul. So... What is... What's a ghoul? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power, can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. Then they're a ghoul. Ooh, watch out. Who's the vampire that made you a ghoul? Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just... Well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires, oh man, well, other than my master, so I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up, <laughs> you know? So, do you like being a ghoul? It's awesome! Man, after that first date the vampire blood, it's like the best drug, oh man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. Just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. So, what are you doing around here? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I want a secret mission from my master. Well, hey! <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man! You know, important stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, see you around. Please wait your turn and you'll be seen. Hey, I'm, I'm just bringing my friend. I'm just. I'm just bringing my friend who's being treated some personal items. All right, go on back. Okay, now, maybe I can find some drugs in here. Morphine or. Holy. Uh, uh, please. Holy shit. Yeah, doctor. Yeah, 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 I'll see what I can do. Ah! Uh, my insides hurt so bad. Oh, what? I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Hey, no, dude, there's a girl over there and she's gonna die. See here now, I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, try to talk to her, keep her awake. But I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse page Dr. Roberts a half hour ago. He'll be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Nurse, I'll be in the bathroom. Hey. <laughs> can someone call my grandma, please? Hey, hey, hey stay with me. I, 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 I can save you. Uh, God damn it, dude. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, hey, you're okay. You'll be okay. Hey. Oh shit. Oh shit, you're gonna die. Wait. Maybe... Maybe you don't have to die. 
that Mercurio, he's healing from. He, he's, he drinks vampire blood, and, it, and he's and it's helping him stay alive, even though he's badly wounded. Maybe, maybe my blood can save you. Here. you do? What did you do to me? <sighs> Nothing. I've, uh, I, I'm, I'm just a nurse. No, no. You did something. I can feel it. It's fixing me. You, I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? Look, just forget about this and don't say anything. You're all right, and that's all that matters. You. I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. Yeah. I've, uh, I've got to go now. Good luck. Oh, shit. That's... That's gonna... That's gonna be... That's gonna be a mess. Right now, I've got to find... Some drugs or something. <laughs> maybe, maybe that'll work. Okay, well, I had a research skill in my last part, so I was able to read that then, so I don't know why I can't do it now. I guess I didn't have the same skill tree, but it's close enough. Danny, I could use a little help down here. Could you go up to the control substances for morphine? For morphine? I'm pretty busy right now. Thanks, F Dog. Two. Okay. So upstairs is where I could find the drugs. That pill is not, that pill bottle is not gonna be enough. Oh shit! I need I need a lockpick. Maybe there's a door around up back. Fuck. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I had a um, I had a lock pick that I bought in my last part, and I'm not gonna actually continue on the safe, so I don't consider cheating to be against the rules. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, whatever. I have uh, can't figure out whatever, so I'm just gonna go get some cash and then buy it.
Don't touch me. I didn't get the money out of here that I got out of it in my last playthrough. So I need to go all the way up to my place and then... Okay everyone, um, I want to go in here and I'm going to buy the lockpick and that's going to be it for the video. I will see you, well, I guess I can't really say that right now. Um. Uh, hey, hey. Yeah? Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... Oh, well, I'd like to buy something if you're not too baked. Alright, here's what we got today. Thanks for the lockpick. Alright, that is it for this video. I will see you all in the next one, but for now, stay swifty.